everybody. How you doing? It's Aunt Rosalind. Welcome back to Magic Rework of Love and Prosperity. And you see I changed up the camera angle, everybody. I hope you can see me just fine, okay? What I'm going to do is some readings today, and I just wanted to touch base with everybody. Thank you for coming in. If you're a new subscriber, thank you. Um, I want to tell everyone that I've been speaking with in the past few weeks, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. It's been wonderful to meet all of you. Um, <clears throat> I have so many interesting uh, people who came through, goddesses, masculine. Everyone is looking for more information on their life, their healing, their family, their love life, of course. It seems like everything eventually goes to love, doesn't it? <laughs> it seems like whatever the problem or issue is, it all goes to love. A lot of people, you know, they don't understand fully that even if you're having problems with manifesting money, you know, things in your home, things with the family, um, new jobs, new careers, you know, good luck, so to speak, it all comes from love first. Okay, so that is something that I really want to put to you all today that you have to love yourself. Start connecting with your own self-love and how powerful that is. Okay, what I'm going to do is give you some readings today and it's going to be about love, of course, but it's also about the connections, the humanness, you know, how we really see one another, how we see ourselves the things that we want on a soul level, you know? And that's what I love to help my clients with. I use a co combination of different things. I use self-empowerment, self-coaching, manifesting rituals, conjure, root work, candle magic, um, manifesting techniques to get your business going. A lot of people are starting their own businesses because it's 2018. And a lot of us are here right now manifesting our businesses because we plan to do this here on earth, okay? So think about your business. Think about what you want to accomplish. Think about the relationships you want. What do you want for your children? All of it goes together, okay? So I hope you enjoy your reading today. Blessed be. Hey there, Virgo. You ready for your love read for Virgo? Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo. I know you probably, most Virgos right now, and I'm a Virgo rising, so I want to let you know that. Most Virgos right now are working on things that are new in every part of their life because you've probably had a re-examination of your relationships, your job, you know, things from the past. Everything is getting this big reevaluation by Virgos because the last new moon we had was in Virgo. Okay. So it's really talking about how you show up, Virgo, in your relationships, in your career, you know, what you're investing in. It's like your actual actions at this time. Okay. So let's see what's going on with Virgo. I feel like, Virgo, it's going to be something on your foundation, you know, like really the foundation of your relationship. Okay, definitely. So you've had some energy in your relationship of walking away. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Big time, Virgo. Okay. You haven't been getting the equality that you feel you need in this relationship. Okay. Your partner could very well be unbalanced and unhinged Virgo because this eight of cups crossing you crossing the six of pentacles I mean that's a lot of energy it's the energy not only that there was emotions that could not be gotten over the emotions could not be gotten over but on your foundation there's this heartbreak card the five of cups this is my divorce card it's like heartbreaks divorce everything Virgo it's like you could not shake this Okay, you can't shake it. So even if you're still with this person, Virgo, it's not, yeah, it's a burden. So it was okay in the past because it was meeting your needs somehow, Virgo. The Ten of Pentacles in your immediate past, but this is what's crowning you now. Okay, the Ten of Wands, this is a lot of a burden. This is like too heavy of a burden for you to even keep carrying. You could be involved with the fire sign, Virgo, but that's really about... You know, in here, this is your immediate future. This is like, it's all about lovers. Look at all that water in motion, the sun. Okay, this is what you want. 
you want to be seen as the equal. Okay, this card is all about being seen as the equal. Sometimes it represents Gemini, but it really is about being seen as an equal in your own relationship, Virgo. It's like manifesting everything that you want. Everything seems to be right. On the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles. So I feel like your security in this relationship, Virgo, it's like it's in jeopardy. It's like... I don't feel secure. I can't trust this person. I can't even move on with this person. You want the equality. You want the, the reciprocation, the give and take. You want it to feel like a real love union, and it doesn't feel that way. We've got the Eight of Cups crossing you. Someone, Virgo, it may be you. I'm not sure who's watching, but it feels like one of you has said, okay, I'm done with this. I've already completed it. I couldn't handle the emotions. I was suffering. I cannot climb over these emotions. It's gone. It was a battle somehow. Okay? It was a battle somehow. I can't get over it. It's done with. The Five of Cups. One of you is feeling like, well, if we do, you know, go ahead and give up on this, I'm going to be left heartbroken. Okay? The Five of Cups is like the breakup already happened. It's already, the marriage is already ended, but you were holding back because of this fear. It's like the way you, you're after your left, you know, after you have that relationship break up and you have that shock of it. It's like, this is what I was afraid of. This is why I made the excuses that long, you know? One of you could be, have a lot of Aries in your chart. Yeah, the Hermit. Well, this is your card, Virgo. You're showing up in your reading, okay? So this is like you are trying to get over this wound, over this heartbreak, not being treated like an equal. So you're ready to go into hermit mode, okay? Now going into hermit mode, it's not bad all the time, okay, Virgo? Because it helps us. You know how someone will go into, uh, they'll know willingly, you know, they'll break up. They'll start into this solitude. And they know that somehow in their solitude, Virgo, they're going to awaken, they might see their shadow self somehow, but they're going to awake. They're going to awaken. And they know that somehow they'll come out of this. Some people come out of this with a new job. They come out of it with a degree. They never thought that they would get a degree. <laughs> they come out of it with these gifts and these skills and this awareness. Sometimes people, Virgo, they go into a breakup like that and they go into hermit mode to heal and to renew and rebirth, and they come out of it saying, well, I never ever thought that I would, you know, go to yoga, and now I'm a yoga instructor. You know, things like that. I'm just saying that for an example. Okay, the next card is the hangman. So you may be a little bit unsure. You may be trying to see this from a different perspective also, okay? You may not really understand how a breakup can really help you, okay? We have the Ten of Cups. This is what you may be losing right now, okay? Definitely, you may be losing some home and happiness. This this may be just in the midst of a breakup and divorce with children, okay? But it doesn't mean you can't be happy again, Virgo, okay? So let's go into the romance work. Let's see what else is going on here. Virgo, what's going on with Virgo in this spread? This spread is, wow. I don't see, yeah, I don't see any swords energy here, Virgo. Heart-to-heart <clears throat> -heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. This card has popped a couple times tonight. It's almost like we're living in our shadow self sometimes. Like we're living in this dream or this dream of a relationship that we really wanted. And we don't want to have those honest heart-to-hearts. Because we want to keep playing that kind of game where it's just okay. You know, we're just doing these daily things, our daily duties, dealing with the kids, going to our job, you know, checking out on, you know, video games, drinking, you know, all of these different things that people build up in their life as an addiction, as a crutch, you know. <clears throat> this could be the one. Hmm. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. But look at her body language. Her body language doesn't really seem like this is the one, does it? Hmm. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your current moments. 
as you release and heal the past, you will experience more love in your current moments, okay? So possibly this is about forgiving and learning. Maybe this relationship could heal. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. I almost feel like this is the Virgo with the false energy. I really do. I feel like, Virgo, you're being too nice. And it's almost like that point of you don't really know the person. You're involved with them. You love them. Even in marriages, do you really, really know the person in their shadow self, you know? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking will bring you more romance, okay? Positive thinking will bring you more romance. Possibly this relationship could heal. However, with, you know, the five of cups here, that's a huge indicator that this could have even been a marriage that is broken, okay? Getting to know each other on the bottom of the deck. As you reveal yourselves, your bond will deepen. Okay, so to me, this is like not just meeting the person, not that kind of energy. It's the kind of energy where you truly know the person and you start to accept them. Instead of judging them, you start to accept who they are. And if they need healing, they need healing. But sometimes we do need to get to know one another so we're not in this energy here of deception deception okay wow staying positive heart-to-heart -heart conversations okay maybe virgo this is worth worth working on okay maybe this is a relationship that can still be healed stay optimistic heart-to-heart -heart, and getting to know one another okay make the effort the next card is make the effort wow Okay, so it feels like, especially in this moon energy today, it feels like spirit is showing you, Virgo, how to fall in line just a little bit more into the relationship and what you can do to try and heal. Because we're never fully alone, okay? Your ancestors are there, your guides are there. You're never fully alone as you think, okay? So Virgo, if you would like to get in touch with me for a personal private reading, my information is in the box below. Also, I have a new um, I have a new link there where you can just literally click on it and schedule your reading, okay? So I'll talk to you all soon. You have a blessed night. Bye-bye.